Hello again guys, um, we have another generator here that uh, we are unboxing and reviewing. Uh, this one is a Furman, 2000 watts, uh, whole power and then 1600 running watts. This is a, um, um, a pretty good size generator, I think it weighs about 50 pounds. Um, it is pretty quiet. And this is on sale. I actually got it at Costco for $349, which is unbelievable price for this Furman generator. And uh, so we are going to unbox it and let you guys see what comes with it and how it's running. And we're gonna try to put some load in it and uh, see how quiet it is or how loud it is. Um, all right, so let's, let's get it going. Okay, I am going to go through all the content of what comes included in the box. So first we have uh, engine oil. This is a 10 uh, W30 engine oil. I don't know what brand, it's, uh, it says Furman brand, but obviously they don't make oil. So that's about half a quart. We have a funnel, probably for gasoline. We have a converter here. Looks like this is the uh, typical uh, twist lock. Um, plug that uh, most generator uses uh, it converts it down to this uh, plug that looks like a typical RV plug yeah look at that slanted um, connection there and we also have a cable this is the uh, I believe this is the tandem cable this is the cable that you would use if you were connecting the generator together to generate more power you can connect I believe two of these generators uh, to make more power okay and then you have the warranty card and then you have the operators manual right here sorry I wasn't pointing correctly you have the warranty card and the operators manual and it comes with two different no not two different two of the same quick start guide I don't know why it comes with two of them um, I put them side by side they look exactly identical so it comes with two of them all right so let's double check make sure we have all these oh yeah by the way it comes with wrench and a screwdriver so we've got wrench screwdriver oil funnel adapter tandem plug quick stop guide operators manual and uh, yeah some warnings here etc uh, what to do and not to do all right so <clears throat> let's get a quick close-up on the generator itself okay so this is the main panel of the generator um so it looks quite nice actually the design and uh, the stickering the yellow and the black looks very nice so there is this this is where you would uh, do the tandem cable uh circuit breaker for this particular outlet probably and uh, another outlet right here uh, this is the pull string to start it. Choke. On and off, on and off. Oh, there's an eco mode on and off. And then there's this, this is the actual power on and off. It has a USB connector right here. Just one of them. So that's pretty nice. And it has an engine, and I'm sorry, the, the fuel on and off is right here. Okay. And the exhaust is at the back, right there. It has a stainless steel, looks like muffler tip. And these are all made up of plastic. And the feet, let me see, it has a rubber feet there. Pretty sturdy looking. I don't know what these holes are for, maybe heat exhaust. All right, and coming around, we got the gas uh open already right now that's the gash cap right there this is what it looks like when it's closed this is the front of the unit it has some vent here this is the other side and you need to open this to fill the oil oh okay uh you need to open this to fill the oil that's what we're going to be doing right now so make sure that you check and fill the oil before you start the engine the first time or every time actually you need to if you haven't used it for a long time please check the oil first before you start it 
All right, so there's a warning here to make sure that you put the generator at least 20 feet away from a house, garage, etc. because these fumes are carbon dioxide and it can kill you if you're not careful. Okay, so we're going to fill up the oil and then get it started and test it. Okay, I just want to point out to you guys that um, there's this kind of like a doorknob sticker or warning tag that was attached probably to the, uh, was it attached here? Uh, to, to the, the fuel cap? Oh, to the starter. It was attached here and it fell off. So basically it's a warning um, that the unit or the generator did not ship with the oil filled. So you have to make sure uh, that you fill it with the oil that uh, came with it. And uh, yeah, it says right here, engine ship without oil. And I also want to point out uh, some specs here. So this is the uh, W01682 model. It's an 80 cc engine. Uh, the capacity on the tank is 0 0.9 gallon um, and it can run at 25% load for nine hours. Um, it claims that it generates clean power at 3% THD. That's total harmonic distortion. That's a pretty clean power and it, it has a quiet operation. And uh, those are the specs also on the uh, plugs. Okay, we're filling the oil right now. So this is the other side. Uh, this part right here is the other side of the control panel. And you have to open it up. We have done it here. And um, we're using the funnel that it came with it. And we're filling up the oil. This is the plug that was there. And the plug also um, has the measuring range. Okay, we have already uh, fueled up and put oil. Uh, so we are going through the uh, startup process here, which is on this label. Make sure we have oil. We already put the gas and make sure that the uh, there's a switch here on or off on the gas cap. Make sure you turn it to on. And then you also want to turn the fuel switch to on, which is this thing right here. Make sure you switch it to on. Okay, and then put the choke uh, pull the choke switch this, this guy right here choke switch to the front and then the switch power on and we're ready to start Getting something that's eco mode, we shouldn't need eco mode on. Okay, go ahead. What are we forgetting? Nothing. to have Eco mode works great. I mean, it, it kind of 
stutter and wrap up um, when you first turn it on, but after that, it's stabilized. Alright guys, uh, that concludes this review and unboxing of the uh, Furman W2009. Uh, again, I got this uh, generator from Costco for $349 and uh, I think it's a very good unit uh, with the gasoline. Uh, I think this is weighing about, it doesn't feel like 50 pounds. I know it's like 50 to 60 pounds supposedly, but uh, the, the handle is very comfortable. It's easy to pick up. I'm picking it up with one hand right now. And uh, yeah, and it, it's very quiet. I don't know how many dB it is, but uh, it's just almost as quiet as, uh, as the previous two-stroke generator that we just reviewed, a thousand watts. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty good generator. So I hope that you find this uh, video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.